The Normandy campaign lasts for 77 days, and in that time, the Allies really have to learn how to battle with the Germans and use their air power in the most effective way. And by early August 1944, uh, the Germans are boxed in to an area about 20 miles wide, about five miles deep, uh, into what we call the Falaise Pocket. Uh, and because of the restrictions of terrain, they're trying to rush out uh, and escape back in the direction of Germany, surrounded by high hills. And every day in the bright sunny weather of August 1944, forward air controllers are directing aircraft down, P-47 Thunderbolts, Hawker Typhoons, who are attacking all the fleeing German troops, uh, their horses, their trucks and their tanks. Uh, the Germans at this stage are just intent on retreat and have no air defence of their own. By the 20th of August, which we, we commonly say is the last day of the Normandy campaign, uh, the fighting in Falaise has died down because most of those Germans who were alive have escaped and what is left in the Falaise pocket are, are the dead and the dying. Uh, and that is really the end of the German forces in, in Normandy and their destruction at that point has been purely brought about by air power and it underlines just how important the contribution of the Royal Air Force uh, and the United States Army Air Force is to destroying the German army in Normandy in 1944.